I really hate the call out system of this game. It can be a pixel. Look right there in the corner of the screen. I don't know if you have to replay it or anything, but you see that little crack right there. Somebody ran by and my character said, there, I got movement. Why? It was never this bad in any other game. And the call out system was in other games. I understand. Now I'm not as mad when my character says reloading or planning claymore. Like that stuff makes sense. The the call out system in this game is ah uh, it's terrible. It This is what um the reloading and planting claymore and and this and that does. When you're reloading and when you're planting claymore and other things they do that so you can put ninja in the game. Like, I mean, not ninja in the game, but you put on ghost or you put on dead silence. That makes your character shut the fuck up. That's an incentive to use one of those perks. In this game, it's no ghost. It has ninja right there. It quiets you up, but you still got to wait for it to boost up. It, it, wow, man. I, I really wish they made Ninja a perk. Then the there I got movement and all that stuff would make a little bit of sense. Like, yo, shut the fuck up. Put on Ninja, you know? And I said in one of my previous videos and a couple of people disagreed. You know what? I, I don't think I said it in the video. I think I, I might have said it in the comment section. I'm not sure. But I basically said, if they make Ninja a perk, they should make Ghost in the same perk slot. And one guy said, hey, um, no, put it in the first perk slot because the first perk slot, they're useless. That's my point. You want to have perks that kind of do the same thing in the same slot, especially Ghost and Ninja. If it was in different slots, it will benefit me. But I want the game to benefit everyone, as bad as that sounds. Like the perk one, you know, EOD's there. I would rather have EOD and Ninja instead of ghosts and ninja because if i was a developer i would buff eod so when you get hit by a claymore it doesn't take as much energy right it doesn't take as much health from my character because i have on eod but if I was to put ghosts in slot one or ninja in slot one, when a claymore hits you, you die. I would basically leave claymores the exact same way. So you can pick your poison. I want it to be fair for everybody, basically. So if you have on... Ghost and Ninja, and you get hit by Claymore, boom, uh, you die. But if you have on EOD and Ghost, you, 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 you're quiet. You're quiet when you got Ninja on, but you're loud when you have EOD on. But if you get hit by Claymores, you know you're um. I, I'll just have people pick their poison. To, to be honest, I will put ghosts in slot one and e and um cl and, and ninja in slot two. So, you know, so it would be like a, a pick your poison, uh, uh, either survive explosives or 
not be seen on the UAV. Because Ninja, I think that has to be on. I, I got I to gotta be fair with everybody. I think that has to be on because footsteps are so loud. But in the Ninja slot, I would probably have a perk like, was it Juggernaut? I think it was Juggernaut where you take a little bit more damage. You know what I mean? So if you want to be loud, you do take a little bit more damage tanking bullets, but you can still be heard. So that will counter the campers. So you can have on AOD and you can have on Juggernaut, but you're loud but you can still run in a room and the campers can hear you, but you can still jump and outplay them because you're better. But I'm just a dummy. I'm just a, a regular old person. I'm just a normal person. I'm not a four year. I, I remember Moho said something about to a dev. He was like, yo, I can help you with the game. And they said some shit like, you need a four-year degree. <laughs> and we have, and, and, and it, it's, it's gross because gamers have better ideas than the devs. Tell me that it, that's not a good idea. Have like a juggernaut in the game. If y'all don't, wow. Okay, I'm talking to the new generation of COD players, so... Juggernaut was in World War... No, it wasn't called World War II. World at War. Juggernaut was World at War. They used to count... They had two... They had one... They had stopping power, I think. And I, I don't know. But Juggernaut, you could tank more bullets. And where in Juggernaut, it allowed you to outplay your opponents. It gave you, like one or two extra bullets to tank it wasn't like black ops 4 don't be alarmed i will never make a game make you shoot that many make you shoot a person that many times like black ops 4 so with this game i think you die way too quick so if you put in juggernaut or whatever you will probably die like black ops 2 or modern warfare 3 so I think that's a great idea, um, but I'm like I said, I'm just a regular old guy that does commentators, top commentaries on YouTube, and I'm just a normal guy that goes to work every day and plays casually. <laughs> I ran away and uh, hid behind my friend right there. Oh yeah, when I play, not all the time, but like, I play with my like coworkers and they're they're pretty bad at the game, you know. But whatever, like I be talking to them, we be having fun talking and laughing and shit. You know, that's what Call of Duty's about. I don't know why they got the skill-based matchmaking and this and that like in the game. And when I'm in the lobby, it's like no scrubs put in our lobbies so they get destroyed and and they didn't know anything about skill-based matchmaking so they're like yo Jav yesterday I was putting up these numbers look at these scores like we got like a group chat and they're posting these scores and shit and I'm just like yeah yeah that's what's up and when they play with me, they put like bat terrible numbers up. And I just finally broke the news to them like, yo, when you're in a party with somebody that's actually kind of, I'm doing the quote fingers, good at the game, the, the players are a little tougher. And then they like, oh, I wonder why every time we game with you, we get our ass kicked. I'm like, yeah, that's how it is. And when they don't game with me, you should see the you should see the fucking scores that they post. It'd be like 30 and 6 and and 21 and 1 and stuff like that all the time. But when they play with me, you know, it's clearly skill-based matchmaking in the game. And I think that's a terrible idea. 
a terrible idea for pubs. And remember, Michael Jordan is the jive turkey of basketball. I'm out.